Okay, Google Translate. Uh, uploading an SRT file for uh, Google Translate is essentially a waste of time because Google does not support automatic translation of SRT, uh, which basically makes it, uh, well, not very useful, even though you might get fooled into thinking that you can. And yes, it will load the SRT file, but it will not translate the file for you. If you want this file translated, then you have to translate to English. And then it translates to English. And here we get the edited. And I don't know how um, to, uh, to get all of the rest of these edited. If I click on it, cancel, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work. Maybe if I put a space in, but that's something I really don't want to do <coughs> with every single one of them. doesn't really make it very useful. If I, okay, now it's clicked on save, so let's, I'm just going to throw in some edits here. Oops. Whatever just happened, I didn't want it to do that. Um, file. Hmm, there's no undo. Uh, all right, so I'm going to click on save. Save. Um, doesn't indicate whether or not it's saved. File, save. Okay, now. <coughs> Uh, it doesn't give me a file save as and save and close. All right, so that's modified by eight at eight fourteen. And let's go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, so this one one percent complete, and my edits are here. Um, but again, if I translate it, I use the Google Translate, and then it gives me the translation. In order for, it to, for the translations to fix, then I have to put a space after each one, and then click again to get the, uh, the fix or the changes to load. Now, that's not the most painful thing in the world, but it is mind-numbingly boring and not terribly effective. So um, you can get SRTs. You can translate SRTs with uh, Google Toolkit. It's just you have to go into each one and edit to make sure that this changes the changes are saved. Whoops, so like that one, I got a little ahead of myself. <clears throat> it is really not um, not the best way to do this, but uh, save and close. And now, well, I need to refresh that because it's 3% now. And I click on it, and I technically should be able to download. And it doesn't save it as an SRT, but that's okay. So we'll download it. We'll go to the desktop. That's annoying. And duck, duck, duck. Where'd it go? All oh, right there. Open with text editor. Okay, so the uh, translation is there, <clears throat> and now technically I should be able to upload it back to Amara, which is where all of this started. Amara.org, and. I've loaded, so now, here's the 
here's my dashboard. Slow, really slow. Really slow. So slow, I'll come back later for that or not. Anyway, the uh, way to translate or use Google Translation is by using the translate. Translate the, the target to English. There is no hotkey apparently for the move. Oh, control J next. Control J, space, control J, space, control J. Oops. Control K, back, space, control J, space, control J. Space control J, space control J, space control J. Gets really mind numbingly boring very quick, but um, it might, there might be a macro that could be built onto this that would, that would do this automatically. I don't know. How would you do this? Faster, more efficiently. Thanks for watching. Let's see if Amara is loaded. Uh, videos. Activity. Alright, here is. Uh, the video I was trying to translate anyway thanks for watching and happy computing